Hey, Flight Simmers, it's Sizzling Popcorn, and today I'm introducing to you Sim Brief Dispatch for MSFS 2020. Navigraph just released this over the weekend. Normally, you'd go over here into Sim Brief in the web browser, then you can make your, your flight plan, a new flight, and then you go through your steps. But now this is all in the simulator. So in order to get this, all you got to do is go to navgraph.com, click on downloads, then scroll down here. At the bottom, you got SimBrief. SimBrief Dispatch will take you to the web browser. SimBrief Dispatch for MSFS. Click on download. It brings you into SimBrief to, to go get your download. Uh, do note that if you have Flow Pro by Parallel 42 installed, make sure you update it to the latest version. Failure to do this will result in a SIM brief button not showing on the world map. So I do have that. Mine is already updated over the weekend. Click on that, download it. Then it's going to give you a zip file. Unzip that and then take the folder that's there, put that into your community folder, and presto, you've got your SIM brief button. So with the SIM brief button, uh, you, you've got to go in, sign in for the first time. Now that I'm in here, I can actually manage my subscription right from here. You can click to show your SIM brief. So that's kept private just in case you're a streamer or you're making a video. That way you, that information's not uh, out in the public. Uh, quick links right here, create a new flight, view latest flight plan, view the user guide, get uh, technical support. Recent flights, they've got my uh, LAX to, uh, to Dubai uh, flight plan. So I can view that flight plan right away. And then here I can edit the flight. I can view a PDF. To open this link, your default web browser must be launched. Do you want to continue? Continue. It's going to open up my web browser. And then I've got the PDF here. But the other thing is, is you don't have to do it that way because what you can do instead is import it into the sim. Importing flight plan. Do not interact with the simulator. And sometimes it, it could take a little bit of time as it's importing. Imported flight plan is done. So what we can do is we can get out of here, close this. The flight plane is all there. Look at that. And it actually is giving me all the other routes that are available through a sim brief. And then I, I can go click on fly. Runway awareness. Okay. Feet on runway two by right. And as you can see here, we're at LAX on the runway. That's where it's loaded us in. We can go to, we're in the uh, A380X from uh, Flyby Wire. We can click on uh, import from SimBrief. It'll bring that in automatically. But while that's loading up, you can also, let's say we want to change things. Rather than go from LAX to uh, Dubai, maybe we want to go LAX to San Francisco instead. Uh, I've got Parallel 42's uh, Flow Pro. So I, I do have to add the icon on here. But for most of you, you'll have your toolbar at the top. And in the toolbar, you'll see the, uh, the icon there. So let's just reset the camera. And then if you have the uh, Flow Pro, this is how you're going to add it on. We're going to then look for uh, SimBrief. SimBrief Dispatch. It's going to add that tool. Click on that. And then you've got uh, SimBrief right there in the flight. And then what we want to do is we want to do a, a, a new flight in this case. Uh, X out of that. Let's do new flight. And uh, EK 
202. Let's go. On runway 2, by right. On K runway 2, KSFO. by right. And then here we're going to look for the 8380. The 8380. And then we're using the fly by wire airframe. And you can take a look. This is all in uh, Lido. We got pounds for our units. Scheduled time. We can uh, look at a different suggested flights. You could actually pop this out into another uh, out into like a browser move it onto another screen sort of defeats the purpose of the browser that you've always done it but uh, this is uh, bringing stuff right into the sim that way you don't have to use a browser an external browser uh, but you can change the uh, suggested route you can go with a different route can analyze the route like pretty much everything you could do in sim brief on the uh, on the website you could do it right here in the uh, in the simulator so we're gonna click on generate flight and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the the map we're gonna import this and uh, let's see what, what it does on the on the uh, pad here so the import has finished uh, company so now here we can just click on import sim brief look at that we got uh, KSFO now that that plan has changed we can look at saved airframes I've got a few from, from over the last couple of years and it's all saved right there. Like it's not, this is not saved on my PC. This is saved in the browser. So you, you're able to get this it like pretty much uh, just as quick as you, you could through the browser. So this makes it uh, a lot easier and uh you know it's more so a quality of life kind of upgrade but it sets us up for msms 2024 where the tablet inside uh, your aircraft you'll be able to have different On runway two programs by right and one of those programs On will be two, the sim by right will be the sim brief dispatch it won't be the uh, vras that uh, that you're hearing right now and that's just warning that we're still on a runway, an active runway. Uh, but here you can have your, your weather. You can look at, uh, at wind charts. It's, uh, yeah, so it's, it's quite useful, your performance tools, especially with like the A380X. You're gonna be uh, looking at uh, doing your performance your takeoff performance inside of here. So then here we're gonna go at the A388, airports, KLAX, runway, uh, which runway are we on? Oh, I can look just at my dash. Oh, uh, looks like yeah, two five, two, uh, two four. So it, it's picked it up. Weights, we're doing it in pounds. Uh, we can leave all that set. Populate the weather. And then calculate. Oh, they want our, our weight. Let's take a look at our current weight. So then then we've got our uh, takeoff performance calculation, weather info, runway info. That's all now in the sim. But if you have any questions about Simbury Dispatch, if you've never used it before, 
let me know in the comments below and then uh, we can do a separate video just looking at Simbrief Dispatch whether you're using it in the browser or in the in the simulator uh, but thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video